Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your end of June reading. Typically my readings are love readings. We will see what comes up. Sorry about that. There was a big truck going by. Um, this is for the sign of Libra. Keep in mind this may not be, be your reading. Okay, it may not. It may not resonate with you. Okay, and if it doesn't, then it just wasn't meant to be. Please keep any negative comments about another sign out of the comment thread. It's okay to write how you feel. Just keep that sign out of the comment. Don't, don't write their sign, if, 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 please. So this is for the sign of Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to get one of these. We're going to get one of these. If it flips out while I'm shuffling, you get to see it now. Otherwise, we reveal it at the end. What does Libra need to know? I think you have new opportunities, Libra. I do. I think you have new opportunities that could be very, pretty exciting. Um, you're probably feeling and looking very attractive at this time. Um, vibrating very, very highly. Smiling a lot. I hope you are anyway, but it, it feels like I see a smile. I don't know what this is. But I see smile. Playfulness, perhaps. You may be feeling pretty playful. This is for Libra. What does Libra need to know for the end of June? Oh, Ace of Wands reversed. You know, this is lack of growth, lack of, of energy for something. I don't know what, because I feel like you guys are making progress. Maybe you're, maybe you're ending something. Maybe you're stepping over that finish line. You're letting go of something that had no growth. That could definitely be the case. Maybe you've learned some lesson. It's become final. You've, you've made something final. Therefore, you have a new beginning right in front of you. Something has been weighing very heavily on you. It's really heavy. But it feels like you're listening. You're listening to your inner guide. You have faith. You're following your own path. You're believing in yourself. Um, you may be seeking guidance, whether it's from a counselor or from above, you're, you are receiving, okay? You're receiving messages. Um, yeah, you're coming out of a period of darkness. I think you are. I think that you're getting over a difficult time in your life. You are. Or maybe you're deciding to put it behind you, this situation that had no growth. You are. You're coming out, you're coming out of a difficult time. It looks like you may have a, a new opportunity in love, okay? You may. I think it's something you've been waiting for. You've evolved. You've been through some changes. You're feeling very balanced at this time. I feel as though you've made some serious compromises in your life. Um, you're focusing on your future. There's, you know, you could be not giving a chance. You may, you may be. Um, giving up on a situation. That's what it looks like to me. It looks like you're done. You're done giving chances to a situation that wasn't fruitile, that wasn't fertile. Fruitile, fertile, whatever. I feel as though you have decided to close yourself off from a situation that promised no love. That's what it looks like. I think you're closing yourself off from that and you have lost, you've probably lost faith in this past connection. You've decided to to make some compromises here, make some changes, and prepare for your future. And I think that, you know, you're starting to regain your faith in yourself and in newness, but I feel like you still having a few, you still have a few things holding you back. You still have a, a, some baggage that isn't completely done. You, you could be still feeling a little bitter, a little bit um, conflicted about this new path that you're that embarking on your own path listening to your inner guide you could feel a little bit conflicted about doing that I feel like you are doing that but you're probably um, finding it a little bit difficult you're finding it a little bit difficult to do you may be 
coming up against some unexpected conflict, okay, with this page of swords, you may, there could be some unexpected conflict that comes into your life this week for some reason, some sort of burden that comes in to, to, um, test you, okay, to test you, I feel as though you have been, um, making some moderations in your life and they are they are affecting you in a, in a positive way but I feel as though it could something could happen you know these conflicts that come in that make you doubt they make you doubt your process they make you doubt yourself so you know you are making progress you're headed in a, in a better you're headed to a better place I think that you're you're getting over some sort of situation that had no growth that left you feeling emotionally unfulfilled. But you are preparing for your future. You're trying to focus on your future. You're trying to heal. You're still healing. The basis of your reading is temperance. That's healing. Okay, It's patience with yourself. Having patience with yourself to heal, to regain the balance that has been lost from some sort of situation that had no growth. And so you're still, this is what you're doing. You're still having ups and downs. And I can see that. There's ups and downs here. I feel like, you know, certain times you may feel like you can't be emotionally available to someone. You doubt. You're, you doubt yourself. You doubt your own path. You doubt your inner guide. I mean, that's, it's, it's clear. You doubt that you will find love again. But the fact of the matter is, I feel like you guys are about to complete a cycle in your life. You really are. You're about to complete this cycle and find a new opportunity. Anyway, we're going to get some clarifiers, but I want to zoom this in. Now, your outcome is the Page of Cups reversed. So, you may decide towards the end of this month, you know, that you aren't quite open emotionally you may find that you may find you know you have this new excitement you have this new you have this new opportunity but you may feel like you know what I don't want it <laughs> so you may have a change of heart so I'm not sure what this is but I do see a need to play okay because the page of cups is the need to play get out there and play have some fun okay your your the basis though is the temperance card this is about regaining control regaining balance regaining uh purpose regaining um healing spiritual renewal you know you guys are going through some sort of evolvement evolve you're evolving into a a new you okay that's what's happening but you know you still have these doubts you have these doubts regarding your own path regarding what you really want um, but you are completing a phase in your life and this is a major phase with the world card something in your life is completing for the better it's a difficult period you've been going through. It's ending. It is ending. This difficult period that you've been going through is is going to end, okay? Um, but right now, it's still burdensome. It is still burdensome right now. But but you're working on it. You know, I feel like you've been analyzing things a little bit too much, and you may decide that, you know, I want more. I, know, I want more than this. I do. Other people see that you are starting to realize the truth. Other people see that you are starting to recognize, you know, that that loss was a loss and you can't look back. They're starting to see that. They start, they're seeing that you're making progress, okay? They're seeing that you're coming out of this darkness. They are. They see that you're starting to focus on your future. They see that you're starting to accept, okay? So that's fantastic. Um, your challenge is this page of swords reverse, which could be you, but it could be just an energy. There's, there's, this is, um, sticking your nose in where it might not belong. Just, just keep that in mind. This is somebody that doesn't communicate effectively. Um, this is someone that does things they shouldn't be doing you know you don't need this is stalking this is observing this is watching you know so i feel like that's your challenge your challenge is to stop looking at whatever this situation was your challenge is really to stop looking at it because every time we look at it it brings up the old wounds you're trying to heal right
that contract that you had that you're still looking at is over. It's done. There's no more happiness or contentment or commitment there. And it's time for you to move on. It's time for you to master your emotions and move forward. Move forward. That's your challenge. Your challenge is about mastering your emotions to keep the momentum going. Keep going. Keep heading in the right direction out of that situation that does have has no more growth, has no more fertility. Keep going. You are definitely finding the mental strength. You're gaining mental strength. You are gaining strength to prevail, to find success in your life. You are. You are. You're making progress. Big progress. Your challenge is, is continuing to do so. Stop looking, whether it's on social media or following this person or I don't think you are doing that. I don't know. But I feel, you know, what I'm trying to say is stop rehashing it out. Every time you look at this person that isn't growing with you, it, it keeps it going. You need to stop. It's over. It's over. You're going through a transformation. Let it happen. Now this is the basis of your reading. Renewal, rebirth, transformation, transition. And this is a transformation card as well. You guys are transitioning out of this stage. You, you have a major completion here, Libra. One phase of your life is over. It's done. And you should consider it a success because you learned something from it. I do see success here, victory and success. You're about to start a wonderful new chapter because you believe in yourself. Even though once in a while you doubt that you're making the right decision, you know deep down that you are. You know, you. Uh, this is the past, this is the future. You're doing yourself a terrible injustice by hanging on, by not accepting new offers from anybody else. You are doing yourself a terrible injustice. Your advice is to be fair. Be fair to yourself. Stop treating yourself unfairly. It's time to accept the truth and take back your power. And I think that's what you're going to do. We're moving down to the outcome position. Realizing that something is unrealistic. No more communication. No more forward movement with this situation in the past. It's not fair. It's an injustice to yourself. There's, it's not, it, you deserve more. And what, you're, what you've been thinking you're going to get isn't happening with this situation from the past. It's moving away from the past, which you're doing. You are, you are. The Page of Wands reversed is a naysayer. It's someone who is aggressive and mean-spirited, who is helpless and always plays a victim. This is someone who is pessimistic and never has anything good to say. Is that who you're dealing with or is that you? And I don't, you know, I'm not saying it to you. I'm just saying. If you're pessimistic and you doubt that you will be happy, your thoughts become things.
This can also signify a level of confusion and indecision. So I feel at the end of this month, you're, you're, you have these doubts. You're doubting your inner guide. You're doubting your forward path. You're doubting your progress. You're doubting your, your, your decisions and your choices. But you deserve so much more. You may reject an offer. You may reject an offer. Because there's a six of pentacles, this rejection of an offer. Could be from a fire sign. Could be from any sign, okay? But I feel as though you guys are definitely vibrating at a high level and you're feeling very and you're looking very attractive. You need to keep focused, keep that concentration on the forward path. Keep focusing on the forward, not the backwards. Keep that momentum going. You're the boss, you're the leader, keep going. The wheel is spinning in your favor. It's time to stand up for yourself and leave the situation that didn't work out behind. Leave it behind. The time is now. The time is now. The wheel is spinning. You're about to start a beautiful, wonderful new chapter that is going to lead to a lot of stability and happiness and victory and success. But you are going to have to stand up for yourself. You're going to have to do what's right for you. And you're going to have to leave the past behind. Completely. Don't look at it. Don't look at the past. Please don't look at it. Whatever is happening, whatever has happened, is bringing you closer to your life's purpose right now. Trust the process. You're going through a transition, transformation. You are with these two cards. And it's going to bring you a lot of success. It really, really, really is. But you have to go with it, okay? You have to go with it. Don't fight it. Don't, don't stay stuck in a situation where there's no growth. The very first card, where there's no growth. Is there new love for Libra? Is there new love for Libra? There could be, but I feel as though you have your guard up. You may be a little defensive. You may be, okay? You may be a little defensive. You may be a little guarded. You may be a little conflicted about even letting it in. Like those doubts we were talking about. But I feel like if there is love for you, whoever you're dealing with, they have good intentions. They have good intentions. But you have to let your guard down and not be so defensive. You know, I just happened to look on the bottom. And we have the Ace of Cups. And, you know, I'd like to flip it and make it upright. But that would be the wrong thing to do. There's an opportunity for love. But you might doubt it. And that that's too bad. Get out there and have some fun. Play. Be playful. I can see you smiling. I can. But I think you, you smile. You go home. And you start thinking about the past.
It's time to stop sacrificing yourself. It's time to stop stalling. You're sacrificing yourself needlessly for a situation that has no growth. Don't let doubts and fears hold you back. You have an opportunity for love. If you don't look back. You deserve it. You deserve it. Look at that. Oh, they're perfect. Blame. I expect I accept responsibility for my well being. It's the truth. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all, Libra. It is safe. Stop doubting it. There's an opportunity for love if you don't reject the offer. Which you may. I accept responsibility for my well-being. This is nobody's fault but yours. If you choose to be stuck on something that has no growth, is not fertile, then that's your fault. There's an opportunity to master your emotions and move forward and transition out of this hurt, this discontent that you've been living in. There is an opportunity for a major new beginning with the world card and the wheel card. It's destined. You are destined to start a new chapter. It's safe. It's time. Let it happen. Step outside of your comfort zone, the Eight of Swords. Do it. Anyway, that's what I have, Libra. It, you know, I think there's an opportunity that you could reject. But this is going to keep happening because there's destiny here. There's a new chapter that is wanting to start for you. So the longer you deny it, the longer you look at the past, the longer you're going to suffer. That's your fault. You can choose to step out of this at any time. That's what I have.